Opened up by the jump H. Not a lot of health on Karase. This could be tournament point, but you have to force out the gold burst here. Burn it down to try and get some pressure with the 5P. Wait, two supers at once. I think you're still plus after the laser stock. Wait! All right, all right. What is good, everyone? Welcome back from our intermission. 20 minutes waiting for that loser's bracket to catch up a little bit. We are here at Nine Moons Weekly, number 38 for top eight. It's your boy, Jade Sue, your favorite voice actor, VTuber, enjoyer, and Eno enthusiast, and host of Commentary Practice over at Showdown. And we are once again joined by the homie Loopy. What's up? Right. And great checks with the 5P, but Panunu taking the opportunity with that whiffed burst, already pushing Dr. Dinosaur over to the corner. The Rekka pressure is continued with that fast RC. And we're going to be over in the corner with the Pierce into the drill. So much meter on Peppery Splash aside. You have to do something crazy to get out here. The mash on 5D. Impressive, impressive neutral play from Stealthy. Yep, Stealthy trying to stay in the tournament here. The 2S no, RC no, should not, be no, able to kill a Morpheus. Will it kill Sage and says it does. Peppery Splash yeah. is your winner of Ember's birthday charity bracket for the Trevor Project. Taking it 3-0 over Stealthy in Grand Finals. Holy. That's a bit of a player uh, unfamiliarity. Yeah, sometimes you can uh, be experienced in a certain matchup, but then take a little bit of time to understand uh, or kind of get used to the habits of that specific player using the character, if that makes sense, right? It looks like Guado uh, has definitely labbed out the Happy Chaos matchup, is super used uh, to knowing what options they're looking for in the game plan, but getting used to kind of Kurase's tempo, their timing, etc., etc., uh, is something that's pretty difficult to do in the heat of the moment, in bracket, loser's top six, and then also against the character that really forces you to uh, be intentional about your movement. No way. No. Oh, not quite, but you're stuck in the corner. Honestly, that's still pretty good for Kurase here. Oh my goodness, Guato saying, Kurase, Yamate, Kura, stop. Please get me out of this <laughs> corner. I just want to escape. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Able to win the round start. Got us. If you want to keep up with the bracket, we have the link right there. And if you want to donate to the Match Arena, feel free to. But if you don't have any money to donate to the Match Arena, do not even worry. How can I support the Nine Moons community who just got 1k followers? How do I help them celebrate this momentous occasion? We did it! Oh you my god, we did it! One of those coupon codes, and you don't even need to donate a single cent to help keep this community up and running. Yeah, we hit it. Isn't that crazy? All right, we'll no. the approach for a little bit. Nice. IB is okay. Keeping that space. Oh, no. The commentator curse once again. The first gets baited. Guato no longer has that resource on deck and losing a lot of health here. But look at these IBs once again. Oh, no. The wheel of fate is turning. The chamber <laughs> only has one more bullet left. You got to play Russian roulette here. The back dash on the meaty is able to reverse it with the back throw incident. Guato, how are you going to get out of this one? Oh, no. Oh, try to go for the... Okay, okay. And it was a pretty close ride over from winners finals to grand finals. You know, it was 2-3, uh, or what's it called? It was 2-0 up for Stealthy, and then you hit it with the reverse sweep in winners. So was there any particular, you know, change or adaptation that you had in mind uh, that let you get that grand final sweep? Uh, no, not really. I just kind of okay. I, I, I just decided to win. So true, SD. You know, he decided <laughs> to hit that win button, but... use Eddie, and simply take the games. That's all you gotta do.